Thanks, good afternoon. Well, thanks. Good afternoon. How are you? Okay, we're going to start in a few minutes. It's a pleasure to be with you one more time. Um, well, I'm going to stop passing the attendance in a few minutes. Thank you for joining one more time. Okay, this is class number five. Good afternoon. How are you, Tommy? How are you guys? You okay? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you guys? Right. Teacher, hello, you're cortado. Really? Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, good afternoon. Todos me escuchan cortado. Teacher, mi internet está fallando por si se escucha cortado. Oh, okay, okay. Si me escuchan todos cortados, solamente algunos. Yo por el momento escucho bien, teacher. Okay, thank you. Very good, very good. Uh, welcome, good afternoon. We're going to start in a few minutes. It's almost 1, 1 p.m. Uh, I'm going to start pass, passing the attendance thing or to, to begin right. Uh, yeah, remember, as soon as you listen to your name, please stay present. Welcome, good afternoon for the ones that already join us. That's number five. I'm going to start passing the attendance, please. As soon as you listen to your name, Stay present. Here we go. Adam Patrice. Present. Thank you. Alexandra Marroquin. Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia. Carolina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Elizabeth. Claudia Lisset, Carlos Jose, Carlos Jose, Dalia Lilibet. I'm here, present. Thanks. Dora Alicia. I'm here. Okay. Enrique Guevara. Hazel. Hazel. Jeremías Rivas. Jeremías Rivas. Joana Raquel. Joana Raquel. José Mario. José Mario. Kenia Salina. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Lady Julissa. Present. Thank you. Liliana Amelia. Present, teacher. Mar Mar Marina Sanabria. Ricardo Albino. Let's continue with Sandra Melissa. Present teacher. Thanks. Sarah Pedro. Present teacher. Sorry, Alice Bet. Sorry, Alice Bet. Stephanie Isabel. Stephanie Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Soraya. Soraya, Soraya Lisbeth. Yeah, thank you. Vanessa? Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina? Present teacher. Excellent. Tatiana Maria? Present teacher. Thank you. Leonel Hernández. Leonel Hernández. Laura Bertil. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Aldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Rivas. Eric Rivas. Michelle. Edgar Wilfer. 
Edgar Wilfredo. Stand here. Okay. Well, I can see. I'm going to mention again the people that already join us. Welcome. Teacher presente. Give us some audio. Right now. Give me a second. Good afternoon, teacher Alexander. Good afternoon. Alexander, thank you. Good afternoon, teacher Joanna Raquel. Hello. Thank you, Joanna. Teacher, yo también. Hermias, sí, vas. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más no he mencionado? I can see Ricardo Albino. Hello, welcome. Good afternoon, Ricardo. Um, good afternoon. How are you? Thank you for joining. I can see, let me see, Marina Sanabria. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining. Okay, somebody else, another person, alguien más? Acabo de venir ahorita. Bueno, voy a consultar luego. Okay, let's continue. Let me display the presentation. Can you see the screen, my screen? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, listen, before we start, I just want to point out some, some things about the, the platform rights. Um, well, remember, and I want to say this in Spanish, Quisiera saber quiénes han tenido alguna dificultad en la plataforma. ¿Todo bien? Al mismo tiempo, quisiera saber si hay alguien que no, no ha activado su, su cuenta en la plataforma. ¿Está todo bien? ¿Todos han ingresado a la plataforma sin ningún problema? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No problem. Ok, yes, thank you. Very good. Hago la pregunta por si alguien ha tenido alguna dificultad. Podemos expresarlo acá o incluso pues, luego podemos hacerlo vía WhatsApp, ¿verdad? En este caso, por esa vía de comunicación, ya sea en el grupo o por WhatsApp. Alguien ayer eh, pues, lo comentaba en el grupo, ¿verdad? Que no había, todavía no había activado su caso cuenta o en la plataforma no había ingresado eh, pues eso estuvimos dando seguimiento verdad igual se le estuvo caso contactando y pues él nos comentó que ya, ya se pudo ya se había pudo ingresar verdad Entonces, es que si hay alguien más que no no lo ha hecho ha tenido problemas con, con eso eh, repito pueden eh, contactarme o, directamente en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para poder ayudarle, ¿ok? Y no olvidemos seguir avanzando. Ya que avanzamos, sigamos así, sigamos avanzando, los que probablemente no hemos avanzado mucho, les invito a que sigamos, estamos avanzando mucho más, y no olviden que pueden ir ustedes avanzando las secciones, ¿verdad? No hay ninguna, como lo he mencionado en las clases anteriores, no hay ninguna restricción. ¿Ok? Entonces, que sigamos. Algunos creo que ya bien avanzados, excelente. Y recuerden que vamos a estar acá, pues, ya reforzando, eh, aclarando dudas. En caso con respecto a los, los contenidos, a las clases, vamos a estar ayudándoles acá. Yo sí, tengo el 98% tengan. teacher. Oh, excelente. Thank you. It's my right. Teacher, Ex y en excelente. Que... ¿En qué sección tendríamos que ir ya de la plataforma? Ahorita, ahorita estamos en la sección 2. Sección 2. Eh, entre ahora y mañana nos enfocamos en la sección 2, ¿verdad? Y la próxima semana ya tendríamos que terminar con la sección 3, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. la, la, la siguiente semana, el, específicamente el martes, vamos a hacer el meetup. No se olvide. El, el martes, bueno, uno yo voy a estar este, dando una pequeña explicación de, del midterm, ¿verdad? Les voy a mostrar cómo se ha dividido, más que todo ver las instrucciones de cada parte del midterm para que ustedes lo hagan el martes. El martes tendrían que hacer el midterm todos. Los que ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Los que ya avanzamos, pues, 
no hay ningún problema. Eh, excelente. Eh, para los que no lo han hecho, has digno, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, se les va a explicar el lunes. El lunes para que ustedes puedan eh, ya estar listos para el martes. El martes deben de ser el meeting de todos. Oh, ok, gracias, Ticho. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Si alguien más tiene dudas o alguna pregunta o comentario. No, teacher. No question, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, listen, we're going to begin. This is today's topic. Simple present, values questions, and statements. Okay. Today, we have class number five. Um, again, today is Wednesday, July 21st. Let's begin. Let's start with when we use the simple present. We have different uses for simple present. Uh, first, past. Past. For example, when you say, I live in El Salvador, that is a past. That is a past. Or I live in Poland. So it depends, right? I live in, in El Salvador, in our cases, right? That is a past. That's something true. Something true. Because, yeah, so that is a, a, an explanation and that is an aspect that we have to keep in mind. So this is a path. That is one of the first uses of the simple present. Second, habits and routines. Habits and routines. Everybody has habits. And of course, we develop different routine activities, right? For example, when you say they swim every day, that's an example. They swim every day. Um, a habit, a habit can be I brush my teeth three times a day, right? I brush my teeth three times a day. That is a habit. Habit. Uh, another example can be mother watches TV in the afternoon. This is a routine, a routine activity. That is the second use of the present. Habits and routines. I brush my teeth three times a day. And the other one, my mother watches TV in the afternoon. That is a routine. Part of our routine, right? Part of our routine. In your cases, because I know that most of you work, right? You can say, uh, we go to work at five o'clock. So this is part of your, your routine, right? That is part of your routine. You go to work at five o'clock. Okay, facts and I'm sorry, habits and routines. That is the second use. Can you give me another example of a habit? What can be a habit? Volunteer. I take the shower. Exactly. Very good. I take a shower every day, right? Every day, What about a routine? I play football on weekends. Yeah, I play football or soccer. For soccer. On weekends, right? Yes. On weekends, yeah, this is a routine. Because you do it every weekend every weekend, or it depends, right? Probably one weekend, yes, and one weekend, no. It depends, that is routine activity. Okay, thank you. Number three, we can use uh, the simple present for habits, I'm sorry, for feelings and emotions. Feelings and emotions. For example, when you say, I like pizza, or they like pizza. That is uh, a feeling, right? Or when you say, you say, I love music. I love music. 
Okay, so you're teacher, expressing a, a feeling or an emotion, sir. Podría ser go to work. I'm sorry, repeat. Go to work. Ir al yeah. trabajo. Yeah. I go to work. I go to work. Yes. I go to work at 3 p.m. Yeah. But this is a routine activity. A routine activity. Exactly. Marlena? Yeah. I go to work at 6 a.m. Okay. And here, as we said before, feelings and emotions. But as another use of the simple present. They like pizza. I love music. My father likes soccer, for example, etc. That is another use. And the last one, we had general through. General through. For example, when we say Sunday comes after Saturday. That is something true, right? That is something true. That is the general through. Sunday comes after Saturday. Okay. Those are the most common uses of the simple present. Right? Any questions over here? Tell me. By the way, if you join us in a, you know, in a few minutes ago, uh, good afternoon, welcome. Well, hi, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, hi. for joining. Hello, hello. Okay. Good afternoon. How are you? Who else joined us uh, a few minutes ago? I can see Leonel Hernandez too. Hello, Leo. 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 Hello, Let's continue. Right now we're talking about simple present WH questions and statements. We are discussing the uses of the simple present first. We can use simple present to talk about facts, habits and routines, feelings and emotions, and we have general through, right? Those are the, the most common uses of the simple present tense. Any doubts here, guys? Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Right, teacher. Okay, okay. Moving on. Let me show you how we structure the sentences first, the statements. Let's begin with the formulas. Let's go with affirmative first. In affirmative, we follow this instruction. We have a subject plus a verb. The verb is in base form. At the end, we have a complement. That is the, the structure. It's a short formula, right? We can say, I go to school every day. I go to school every day. Subject, the verb in base form. <laughs> Going to school every day, that is a company. Next, we visit our grandparents on Saturdays. We visit our grandparents on Saturdays. Okay, that is a routine. That is a routine, right? Here we have two examples with the affirmative one. And this is one of the, I would say, this is one of the, the formulas that we follow in the simple present. We have another one, and it is when we have the third person singular. What is the third person singular? He, he, and it. What is the third person singular? He, he she, it. He, she, exactly. It. Very good. This is the third person singular in the simple present, specifically. Simple present. Here we have we follow a, a similar structure. The difference is that we change the verb. With this form, 
we change the verb. So we include the endings S, ES, or IES. Both of the endings. We include the endings S, ES, IES. For example, he goes, now we we'll say he goes, we don't say he go. He goes to school every day. As you can see, we include the S at the end of the verb, go. Go. He goes to school every day. This is affirmative. We we'll continue with affirmative. He goes to school every day. Second, he visits her grandparents on Saturdays. Say visits, no visit. Visits. He visits the grandparents on Saturdays. Okay. Of course, we can continue with more verbs, right? More verbs in the third person. They study. They study. Um. The another one do we say does. Right. We say writes. This is an exception. We say has. Has. Other run. They runs. Watch. They watches. Etc. We can continue. But this is in the third person singular, in the simple present specifically. In the affirmative form. Okay. Any questions over here? No question. No teacher. teacher, no question. Thanks. Don't forget this. We use this endings. You can see we include what this is in section. We include S, ES, or IES, depending on the verb. So it depends on the verb. So this is in the third person. For example, we can say, Okay, my sister studies French. I can say, um, my friend does his homework. My father writes a letter. Okay, my cousin, cousin has the dogs. Here we can say, um, Sara runs 10 kilometers. Okay, this is the way. In the third person singular, he, she, and he, only with them, only with them. Okay, we continue. Let's go with the negative form. Let me know if you have questions, please. You can ask me. Let's go with negative now. With negative, we use the auxiliary verbs, don't and doesn't, okay? Let me show you the following thing. We continue with negative. Negative, we use don't or we use doesn't. It's because we had a third person singular. With the subjects or the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, we use don't. With the subject or the pronouns, in this case, the third person singular, he, she, and it, we use that sentence. In negative. What are the formulas? What are the formulas? Let me show you. First, we have a subject. We continue with do not, the long form, from a extensive order, or we can use contractions, don't. Don't. Plus, the verb is in base form. It's in base form. Go, do, play, write, watch, etc. And we have a complement. So now we can say, I don't go to the park every day. Or, they don't do exercises in the morning. So as you can see, we use this auxiliary. Don't. 
don't, and it is accompanied by a verb in base form, which is go and do. Those are the verbs, okay? Don't. What about negative? With negative, I mean, with the other form, sorry, the other form with the third person singular, use doesn't. He, she, and it. For example, we have a subject, continue with the same formula. Subject, but now we use doesn't. Does not or doesn't is the contraction. Plus a verb, which is in base form. Now it's in base form. We don't do this. We don't do this. So we do this only with the affirmative form. The negative form, because we have the auxiliary, which is doesn't, doesn't, we don't use a verb in that way. We don't add as, es, or is. So the verb now is in base form. In base form. Go, play, do, have, etc. And we have a complement. We say now, Sam doesn't go, no doesn't goes, no doesn't goes, Sam doesn't goes to the park every day. This is incorrect. This is incorrect. The correct form is Sam doesn't go to the park every day. It's correct. Because the verb, the main verb is in base form. El verbo principal is in forma base. Not in this way. Because that is incorrect. Why? Because we have the auxiliary. It doesn't. Okay. This is the way. Sam doesn't go to the park every day. Mary doesn't visit her parents on Saturdays. Okay. Any questions over here? Negative form? No, no question, teacher. No question, teacher. Thanks. Perfect. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah. Sure. En, en singular person, cuando se agrega S, E, S y I, e, S, ¿hay una regla en sí para saber cuando se le agrega S, e, S o I, e, S al verbo o son palabras que nos tenemos que aprender que ya las deben de llevar? Yeah, most of the times, most of, do we have some rules? We have some rules. We have some rules. But most of the times, what we have to do is to memorize, memorize the verbs. But let me show you some rules. Let me show you some rules. Um, okay. Let's go over here. I'm going to make a table. Okay. With most of the verbs, most of the verbs, you add yes. For example, we have a watch. Let's say. There's another one we can say watch. Yes, it. Go. Do. With, with this verb, with most of the verbs, we include ES. Watches. 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 Goes. We will say does. With most, most of the verbs. Okay. okay. We have another one. When the verbs, when verbs, mm -hmm. they finish with consonant plus white, we eliminate, we eliminate or we drop the white and we include IES. For example, study, and carry, try, try. As you can see, all these verbs finish with consonant white. Consonant white. Consonant white. 
consonant Y. In this case, we eliminate or we drop the Y and we write a yes. That is, I hear carries, a price, and we say twice. So when the verse finished in consonant, that's why. So we do this. What about when the verse, we have another rule similar to this one. When verse finish with vowel, not vowel. Vocal, vowel and white, we, we keep the white we keep the white and we include just S. For example, play, enjoy. So here we have vowel, consonant, vocal, griega, consonant, white. Vocal, griega. Eso es para present, verdad, teacher? Yes, present, present. And we say place, and we say enjoys. So now we include just S. It's because we have this. Okay? Yeah. We have rules, yeah, we have rules. Let me show you another one. Okay, the last one. When well, we have a one C level ver, we double the last letter and include ES. Okay, we have one C level, one C level. I'm sorry. And we have consonant vowel consonant. Consonant vowel consonant. We double the last letter and include ES. Cuando tenemos un verbo que tiene una sílaba, solo una sílaba, y tiene consonante, vocal consonante, esa regla, se doblamos la última vocal, la duplicamos y agregamos E. Es es. For example, bueno, en algunos casos es ES o solamente S, teniendo la tal. La mayoría de casos es solo S. For example, plan, stop, run, la consonant, vowel, consonant. Ya tenemos dos consonantes, ¿no? Pero se nos hace una sola, porque es una sola sílaba. Es una sola sílaba. Consonant, vowel. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. There is a mistake here. In this case, it doesn't apply. Sorry. My bad. It doesn't apply. Okay? I'm sorry. My bad. En ese caso, we don't double the last letter. We just say plants. Plant. It stops. Runs. Estaba pensando en otra cosa, ¿ok? Perdón. En este caso es just S. Plants, stops, runs. ¿Ok? That's the way. These are some rules. That's some rules that you can include, you can keep in mind. But most of the times, what you have to do is to memorize. Memorize the verb. Estas son algunas reglas. Para que sean reglas. Eh, para la simple present, específicamente, la tercera persona, ¿verdad? singular. Y lo que queda, por supuesto, es eh, memorizar verbos, las reglas y esta forma. ¿verdad? Ok. But these are the most common rules. Jeremías. Yeah. Any more questions? Oh, we have... And by the way, we have we have a an a section, an a section that is the other one. Sorry, going to erase this ones because we have ha, or we say has. Okay, has. 
So in this case, we're going to say hops. It has that is an exception. An exception. Okay. Very good. Let's continue. Let's go with questions now. Let's continue with questions, so specifically with WH questions. We have a WH question here. As you can see, we have many questions here. And we had two forms. We had two forms. Pay attention to the structure first. This is the way you structure the questions. WH questions specifically. We have a WH word verse. We use the auxiliaries. These are auxiliary verbs. Do or does. These are called auxiliary verbs. For questions, right? Questions. Do or does. Do or does. Plus a subject. Plus a verb, the verb is in base form. Base form, we don't change it. And we have a complement with a question mark. For example, what do you do? Oh, I'm sorry, for to start, for to continue. Can you mention WH words? WH words? What WH words do you remember? What? What? Where? 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 Why? When? Why? When? When? How? 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 Who? Which? Which? What time? What? I'm sorry? Where? Why? Why? Yeah, why? Very good. Okay, very good. These are the most common. What? Where? Why? When? How? Who? Which? What time? What is the purpose of what? Do you remember? What is the purpose? Asking about? What? Asking uh, about? about thing, oh, idea. Yeah, thing. It can be an idea. It can be an activity. Very good. That is the purpose of what? Where? What is the purpose of where? Asking about? A place. It can be a location. It can be a destination. Why? What is the purpose? About a reason. A reason. Or it can be an explanation. Reason or explanation. Why? Because blah, blah, blah. When? What is the purpose? Time. Time. About the time. Time. It can be a date. It can be a moment, etc. How? What is the purpose of how? What is the purpose of how? Uh, obtain more information. <laughs> obtain more information, okay. For example, what kind of information? Uh, how do you feel today? Exactly. So it can be feelings. How do you feel today? Very good, feelings. Em emotions. emotions. Good. And it, or it can be? Stay. Okay. Stay, very good. Stay. State. Or it can be a way doing something. Very good. Next, who? Person. What's the purpose? Yeah, person or people. Very good. Uh, which? This is the most common uses for choices, choices, for options, for options. And the last one, what time? This is similar to when. Or. 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 Horas. Oh, hours. OK, 
Okay, hours. When we say hours, yeah, we're referring to time. Very good. Hours, etc. Very good. Okay, this this are the purpose of the WH words. Very good. Very good. What, where, why, when, how, who, which, what time? Let's see some questions. Some questions with the simple present. Simple present. What do you do? That is the first one. What do you do? If someone asks you, what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a doctor. I'm a teacher. I am a lawyer. I am a police officer. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. That can be the answer. That is a long answer, right? What do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job. Or I am a doctor. I am a doctor. It depends why. Next, where do you work? Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Or I work in a restaurant. Right, very good. So in this case, we're saying a place or a location. What is it? The place, a restaurant. That is the place, the location. Next, where do you go to school? That is another question. That is another question for a location or a place. Right? Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. Okay, let's analyze the question. One of the questions. WH questions. WH questions. Okay, we have a WH word, remember? WH word. Uh, plus do or does. Pocket. As a verb, which is in this mark, and the complement with the question mark. Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? W is where do subject where is where do you go to school? I go to I go to the University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. Right? Where? The University of Texas, that is a place. Now let's change. Let's go with the third person. With the third person. Where does Andrea work? Does Andrea work? Now we use does because it's the third person. Andrea equals she, right? Where does she work? Andrea works at Tomas Cook Travel. Andrea works, we'll say works, 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 he works at Tomas Cook Travel. What does she do? What does Andrea do? She is a guy and she takes people on tours. She takes, she takes, takes people on tours. It's a guy, it's a guy tour, right? The last one, how does, how does she like it? How does Andrea like it? She loves it. She loves it. Okay? This is the way we ask selfish questions. Of course, we have more. For example, why you study English? Why do you study English? That is a, a question for a reason, right? We want to listen to a reason or an explanation. Let's say, I study English, I study English because they I like. want to get a good job or I like, as I said, a good job or I like it, I like it, that is a reason. Because I want to get a good job or I like it. This is the reason. Why? Because I want to get a good job or I like it. Okay? 
Let us let's listen to some people. Let me see. What do you study English, Laura? I will study English because I like it. Oh yeah, yeah, amazing. Okay. Um, Alexander, what do you study English? Um, I study English because it's important for my work. Okay, yeah, good reason. Thank you. Uh, all right, Susanna, what do you study English? I am studying English because it's important. Okay, amazing. That's a good answer. Thank you so much. Well, listen, so let me give you another example. Let's use when. When does, when does he have the meeting? When does he have the meeting? He has a meeting on Saturday. Now we're asking for her time, right? When does, when does he, when does he have the meeting? He has a meeting on Saturday. When? On Saturday. On Saturday. Okay. Another possibility. What time? This is another WH word, right? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? For example, you can say, we get up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. What time? At 7 a.m. Okay. What time? Yeah. Some, Sure. Okay. Why? Why? In, in, in what moment we use wake up? Oh, wake up, very good. What is the difference between get up and wake up? Who knows? These two actions or these two activities are similar. But mm -hmm. they have a difference. The Why? difference is yes. that wake up. I'm sorry, yeah? Why are Creo. different? Creo wake yo. Up. Este que wake up es para despertarse y get up es levantarse del lugar. Ah. Por ejemplo, yeah. me puedo despertar, pero no me he levantado de la cama. Exactly. Esa es la diferencia. Yes. Wake up, you close your eyes. That's the first thing that you do. You are in your bed, you are laying down in your bed. You wake up, you close your eyes, close your eyes. Get up, so you continue in the bed. You wake up, you woke up, but you continue in the bed. Get up, you get up. I mean, you go to the bathroom, you take a shower, etc. Yeah, Okay. so that is the difference. I understood, okay. Very good, thank you. Uh, by the way, I, I have Enrique in the meeting. Hello, Enrique. Sorry. Hi. How are you, Enrique? Not bad, and you? Excellent. I'm doing so well. Thank you for asking. By the way, did you, did you listen to the explanations before? Yeah. Um, uh, um, I stayed at the last two and a half. Oh, okay. Okay. So I help. ¿Escuchó la, las explicaciones anteriores? No sé si tiene dudas. Sí, 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 es desde hace como 20 minutos, creo, o más. Ok, ok, sorry, I haven't noticed that. I mean, I, I saw you, I saw you, but I, I forgot to, yeah, to welcome. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Ok, let's continue. That's the way we ask questions with double-edged questions. Double-edged questions. Remember, we have to keep in mind this, that we had a... This form, I, you, we, and they in the affirmative form, and we say the verse in base form. Work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. They are in the base form. I, you, we, and they in the affirmative form, right? In the third person singular, he, she, and it, we change them. We say works, date, studies, teaches, does, 
goes and has, right? Has. So it's different. It's different. Only in the affirmative form. Only in the affirmative form. Okay, let's continue right here. Let's continue with this question. Let's continue with this question. Okay, let's continue with this question. I was trying to, to ask some people about this. Um, Sarai, what time do you get up? I get up at 7 a.m. 7 a.m., good. Um, Adam, what time do you get up? I get up at 6 o'clock. Tatiana, what time do you get up? I get up at 6 a.m. Okay, thank you. Um, Joanna, what time do you get up? I get up at 7. At 7, okay, good. Seven. Yes. Thank you. Michelle, what time do you get up? Yep. Sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. I I get up at six thirty a.m. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Now tell me, guys, what time do you go to bed? Go to bed at eleven thirty p.m. For example. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Uh, I'm sorry? Okay. What time do you get up, Vanessa? Do you go to bed, sorry? What time do you go to bed, Vanessa? I go to bed at 11 p.m. At 11 p.m., good. What time, thank you. What time do you go to bed, Ricardo? I go I go to bed at 10 a.m. Yes. Lady, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 p.m. Soraya, what time do you go to bed? Soraya? Hello? Soraya? Hello. Hello. What time do you I, go to bed? Yeah. I go to bed at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Listen. Any questions over here? They want a second. Teacher. Yeah. Tell me. Este, podría poner la diapositiva del negativo para copiar sure. la sintaxis. Ah, sure. Yes. Yes. No problem. You can copy if you want to, to take notes. You can take a screenshot if you want. It's okay. Take a screenshot and take notes. No problem. Vamos a tomar apuntes. Pueden tomar una captura si gustan. Como ustedes lo deseen, ¿verdad? Si necesitan tiempo para copiarlo, se lo digan. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. There are, there, thank you. There are a link for the video for recorded. Uh, in YouTube, for example, I don't. Oh, okay, good question. Eso quería también preguntar. Y, bueno, se nos, se nos estuvo indicando de eso ahora por la mañana con respecto a los, a los enlaces, ¿verdad? Eh, quisiera saber acá, y voy a hacer la pregunta con respecto a, a grupo WhatsApp. Quisiera saber si todos están acá en el grupo WhatsApp. Todos accesaron, todos utilizaron el enlace que les compartí en las clases anteriores. Yes, teacher. Ok, no sé quién tiene. Hace falta un plus, ¿verdad? En third person singular. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Subject plus does not or doesn't plus. Yeah, plus a verb in this one. Ok, eso es lo primero. El grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Que todos sean incluidos. Si no lo hemos hecho, por favor, hagámoslo. Les voy a compartir personalmente el link para el grupo de WhatsApp 
Y lo otro para el grupo o para el canal, mejor dicho, de, de YouTube, les voy a compartir el link también acá en el chat. A los que no lo tengan, recuerden que esa información se les ha enviado, probablemente se les ha olvidado, que si no lo han recibido esa información, de todo el módulo, no se preocupen, me, me avisan y yo les puedo compartir los enlaces. Voy a compartir los dos enlaces aquí, de WhatsApp, si alguien no se ha unido, muy importante que todos se unan. Y lo otro... Y, bueno, okay. y lo otro es que ustedes tengan acceso al canal de YouTube. Por si acaso quieren ver las grabaciones, ver los videos, pues claro que lo pueden hacer. En caso no se puedan unir, ustedes pueden ver la grabación, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Ok. Y welcome. Listen, we're going to start. Yeah, so... Este chair, una pregunta. Este, yo ya alcancé los 90%. Allí dice solicitar certificado arribita. Oh, ok, ok. Perfecto, ya que lo mencionó. Bueno, ahorita estoy compartiendo el link o el enlace para el grupo de WhatsApp. Ya les voy a compartir el link para el canal de YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Ok, pero con respecto a lo que preguntaba José, eh, listen, cuando ustedes terminan la, la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Probablemente les sale un mensaje ahí de, de certificado, ¿verdad? Eh, listen. Para el certificado, el certificado se los entregan eh, en, en físico. Los entregan en físico. Es que en ese caso ustedes deben de esperar, deben de esperar a que les manden un correo o les notifiquen ya sea por WhatsApp cuando ustedes deben de ir a recoger el certificado. Es que con respecto a eso, vamos a esperar porque las autoridades, en ese caso, o encargados de ingreso operativo, ellos los van a contactar para decirles qué día, luego, ¿verdad? Luego que terminemos, se les va a enviar el certificado. O les van a reservar las fechas para que ustedes pasen a, a las instalaciones de ingreso operativo a recoger el certificado. Ese es en físico, no es en digital. Teacher, ¿y la sede para cuando ya nos notifiquen a dónde está ubicado exactamente? Bueno, les voy a compartir eh, en el grupo WhatsApp la, la ubicación, ¿verdad?, de, de ingreso operativo. Para que más o menos se ubiquen, eh, inglés corporativo, las instalaciones están ubicadas por, por la escalón. ¿no? Ahí están ubicados. Eh, específicamente en la ruta que va para, para hoteles, como buscando la Torre Futura, ¿verdad? Por ahí. Pero les voy a mandar mejor la ubicación para que ustedes eh, se, se ubiquen. ¿verdad? Teacher, en Buen Salvadoreño, tres cuadras arriba del World Trade Center. Yeah, en exactly. la ruta 52 hotel. Yes. Okay. La ruta 52 hotel, la que va por hotel, esa es la que deben de agarrar ustedes. Y está como tres cuadras eh, de Grand Plaza también, como tres cuadras, creo yo. A mano Ay, izquierda. No. Perdón, Claudia. Se bajan en la parada de la Torre Futura y caminan una cuadra arriba de la Torre Futura para bajar. Exacto, exacto. Eh, caminan como una o dos cuadras, si no me equivoco, en la plaza futura. Tres cuadras. Otra y... pregunta, teacher. ¿Perdón? Otra pregunta. Este, sí. No hay ningún problema, vaya. Yo he cruzado este, nuestro primer módulo y no he ido a tren ninguno. No sé si habrá, oh, habrá problema en eso. Sí es importante que los, los pasen a recoger. Claro. Que esos, pues, les dan el aval, ¿verdad? Les han, han cruzado los... los diferentes modos. Sí, sí. Es que es la, la pregunta de, de José Mario, eh, yo estoy en la misma situación que no fui a recoger ninguno, pero ya consulté y me dijeron que no hay problema, que el día que oh. yo... Oh, uh -huh. ok, ok. Muy bueno, muy bueno saberlo de... de pero otra ser, pregunta. ¿no? Otra Dígame. pregunta, yo tampoco he ido a retirar ninguno, ¿verdad? Porque soy de aquí de Jiquilisco, Usulután. Y sí. la verdad es que no conozco mucho, eh. San Salvador sí. no conozco mucho. Y lo que le quería preguntar es de que puedo ir a retirarlo después de las fechas que ellos dicen, porque decían que hasta ahora miércoles 21, pero no pude ir en estos días. No sé si mm, podría ir. Creería yo que sí, más si, si es en, las, en ese caso, vive lejos, ¿verdad? Probablemente. Sí, si nos si traiga le... pescado, yo le traigo todos los bueno. certificados. Oh, <risa> En ese caso, pues, se, se comprende, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo, sí. que les lo, lo que les recomiendo a ustedes es, eh, es este, lo que deben hacer es probablemente contactar a, a en, ese caso, algún, con, en ese caso, algún contacto, ¿verdad?, de, de un cooperativo 
ustedes pueden mandar un correo o, o directamente por WhatsApp, ustedes hacer la consulta y este, explicar su caso, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes mm, sean sabedores. Si no, pues okay. yo igual puedo hacer uh -huh. la consulta para saber si no hay ningún problema. Yo creería que sí, más si vivimos lejos, ¿verdad? Se entiende. Va a estar bien, ahí voy a consultar entonces. Okay. Lo que dijo la compañera, lo que dijo la compañera de, de la antena futura a mano derecha o mano izquierda. Sí, bueno, ok. Eh, en la plaza futura usted se baja, ¿verdad? Le crean plazas, también ahí está. Eh, son como dos, tres cuadras que usted sube y a mano izquierda. Se va a ver en la esquina, ¿Cómo? en la esquina va a ver un rostro. Dígame. ¿Cómo es este, me dijo, antena futura o plaza futura? Plaza futura. Plaza Futura. Plaza. Es un edificio el, el más alto de que el país. Eh, mm. Se baja ahí, camina tres cuadras hacia arriba y a mano izquierda. Hay una calle ahí, se cruza esa calle y eh, el, la instalación, el cooperativo es un edificio, bueno, no es un edificio pequeño, ¿verdad? Eh, es teleza, si no me equivoco, el color. El color de, del edificio. Y, bueno, se hizo... Eh, Recorre esas tres cuadras hacia arriba, a la izquierda, se ve en la esquina un rosal, creo que es un rosal, y antes hay un, una, una sucursal ahí que se llama el botón, parece, el botón, donde hay sastres, arreglan, o hacen construir y todo eso, para que se ubique más o menos. Ok, gracias, teacher. Yes. Ok, we will continue with the class. Listen, this is the last part. Complete each question with the corresponding knowledge question where, what, where, when, what time, how, and the word does, right? Listen, what you have to do is to pay attention to the answers. Here we have the answer for the questions. I work in a drugstore. He gets up at 6 a.m. He walks to school. They relax because it's very exciting. On Sundays, he goes to Lincoln High and she's an orange. What we have to do is to pay attention to the answers, and based on that, we need to construct the question, right? As you can see, we have part of the question, part of the question, we need to complete it. We need to use a dollish word, and we need to use do or does. For example, number one, I work in a drugstore. The question is, where do you work? Where do you work? Yeah, where do you work, sorry. Where do you work? Yes. Where do you work? I work in a drugstore. So the place is a drugstore. A drugstore. So we have to pay attention to the bold words. Las palabritas que están en negrita. ¿Qué pasa la canción es? Porque esas son las respuestas clave. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. I have, me tuve que levantar un momentito por una llamada de un cliente y me perdí esta parte de, de, de la explicación que está dando. ¿De the, the activity? ¿De the exercise? Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah, what you have to do in your notebooks, you need to construct the questions, the correct question. On your right, you have the answer for the questions. Uh -huh. I work in a drugstore, she gets up at 6 a.m., he walks to school, etc., etc. Based on the answers, you have to construct the question. You have to use a, or you have to include a dollish word and do or does. For example, number one, where do you work? That is the question. And the answer is, I work in a drugstore. So you have to pay attention to the bold words or expressions. Las palabras o expresiones que están en negrita. Hay que poner atención en las palabras que están en negrita. Yes. Especial atención, es el complemento de la oración. Exactly. Okay. Por y ejemplo, esta, esta, yeah. esta hojita la vamos a llenar en, el, en, el, en la plataforma. No, this is a, an extra exercise so you can do it in your notebook. Oh, lo van a mandar al chat. Um, yeah, you can, you can send it. You can send it. We're going to discuss it here in class. Ah, ah ya entendí. Ok. Yeah, yeah. works. You're welcome. For example, let's do number two together. And then I'm going to give you some time. Well, it's almost time, right? It's time. Uh, number two, she gets up at 6 a.m. That is the answer. What is the question? What time do? What time? No. What time does? 
Okay. Yes. What time does it? we use does because it's with the person Anna? She. What time does Anna get up? What time and does? That's what we have to include. Okay. Um, listen, because of the time, we're going to continue doing the exercise by speaking. Of course, please take a screenshot. Por el tiempo, vamos a, a, a hacer la actividad caso by speaking, right? No hablada. Y, pero quiero que lo desarrollen en sus cuadernos, en sus eh, agendas, etc. Porque ese es un ejercicio de, de la clase. Y, vamos a hacerlo así. Y quiero que ustedes pues, tomen buena factura el ejercicio para que ustedes lo hagan después. ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer ahorita acá, ¿no? vamos a hablar las cosas de cada, de cada ejercicio. That is number two. Number three, he walks to school. What do you think? He walks to school. Uh, Paul, where does uh, when Paul go to school? When does or some people say when, some people say where, I think. When does Paul go to school? When? Okay. When? How Paul go to school? Okay. How Paul go to school? Yes? Yes. How? Okay. How Let's he go. walk to school? All right. Very good. Very good. Let's see the answer. Let's compare. Right? Let's compare. How does how does Paul go to school? This is a way of doing something. The okay. way of doing something. How do you go to school? Or how does Paul go to school? He he walks to school. That is the way he walks. Right? Very good. Number four. They relax. This what does? Number? What does? What, what do? does? What do, okay? Some people say what does, some people say what do. What does your sisters do on Sunday or what do you sisters, what do your sisters do on Sunday? What yeah, it's what? what okay, do we use do. We use do what because, do do? yeah, what do your sisters do on Sunday? We use do because sisters, it's in plural, they. Uh, they. What do they do on Sunday? They relax. They relax. Number five, because it's very exciting. Yes. Why do? Okay. Why, Why do? I do? Perfect. Yes. What do you like your job so much? Because it's very interesting. Thanks. Yeah. Number six, on Sundays, your parents. When, when do, do when we do, does, when do, okay. when do? Yeah, when do. When do your parents when buy do. groceries? It's do because your parents, it's in plural. When we say parents, we're referring to your mother and your father. Both. Ambos. Parents. Number seven, he goes to Lincoln High. Where does? Where does? Where? Yes, where does your brother go to school? Your brother, he, he goes to Lincoln High. Where? Lincoln High. Number eight, he's a nurse. Angela. Angela. Sorry. What does? What does? Amazing. What does Angela do for a living? He's a nurse. Or what does she do? What does Angela do? She's a nurse. Okay? These are the answers, guys, for these questions. For these questions. Any doubts, comments? Everything clear? You can take a screenshot if you want. I want to tour. No questions? No question, teacher. Thank you. No, teacher. Okay, listen, the last thing. 
I want to assign you an extra homework. This is una práctica para ustedes, okay? What I want you to do in your notebooks, I need you to write at least six sentences about habits and routines by using the simple present tense. We will use, we will utilize the simple present and we're going to write six sentences about habits and routines. For example, I do exercises every day. I take English classes in the afternoon. My father gets up at seven o'clock. I practice my English at night. I go out with my family on weekends and my brother goes to work at 5 a.m. So you can talk about your habits and routines or you can talk about your family members, habits and routines. Okay, only six. You can use affirmative. If you want to use negative, it's okay. Six sentences, okay, in your notebooks. This will be a practice for you with a simple question. So va a ser una tarea. Una tarea para ustedes, una práctica, para que ustedes sigan practicando con el simple question. Okay. Veamos los ejemplos, tomamos facturas si gustan, para que podamos trabajar en eso. Eso va a ser una tarea. Any questions? No, teacher. Thanks. Okay, well, we're going to start right here because it's time. No sé si ya tomaron captura de la pequeña tarea o práctica. Yes, teacher. Okay, en el chat les compartí los enlaces para WhatsApp, el grupo de WhatsApp, en caso alguien no se ha unido, por favor, unirse, porque ahí se, se transmiten todos los, los anuncios, eh, probablemente algunas indicaciones que se den, etc. E igual, si tienen algún, alguna dificultad con algún ejercicio en la plataforma o en, en general, ¿verdad? Con la plataforma, ustedes lo pueden transmitir ahí, pueden hacer su consulta. Es muy importante que todos estén en el grupo. Lo otro, compartir el enlace, el segundo enlace es del canal de YouTube. O sea, si no lo tiene, recuerden que las grabaciones o los videos están ahí. Se suben ahí para que ustedes sí, pues, puedan ver sí, las sí, cosas que hay. Dígame. Y se puede descargar el jueguito, el juego que nos hizo ayer. ¿El juego? Ajá. Mm. Bueno, el, fue el Kahoot, ¿verdad? Kahoot. Ajá. Y bueno, en ese caso, debe de tener usted una cuenta. Es un, la cuenta es gratis. Puede loguearse ahí usted. Y puede hacer login, perdón. Para poder tener la cuenta. ¿verdad? Es, es gratis para ingresar a Kahoot. Yo le puedo compartir ese, el, el, el juego que hicimos, ¿verdad? Para que usted lo duplique. Haga una, una lo duplique y lo tenga usted ahí para poder practicar. Se lo puedo compartir. Okay. Pero debe tener una cuenta. Comparte. Claro, claro, se lo puedo compartir. Ok, no olvidemos, por favor, eh, seguir avanzando en la plataforma, practicar mucho más. Y si tenemos dudas o preguntas, estamos a la orden. Si desean ver algo de la grabación que no lo pudieron escuchar, probablemente, ahí está el enlace para ingresar al canal. Cualquier cosa, estamos a la orden siempre. Eh, this is all for today, guys. We're going to start right here. Thank you so much again for your time. We will continue tomorrow. Have a good day. Stay safe and God bless you. Goodbye. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good day. Have a good day.